again, today I'm going to be sharing with you my IMAX haul and the things that I did get from IMAX. I did not go crazy this year. Uh, last year I went real crazy. I don't even think I did a haul because I had so much stuff I couldn't even do a haul. Did I do a haul? I don't even know. But I'm going to be doing a haul this year because I really, really want you guys to see what I did get because I thought my stuff that I got was pretty cool and things that I've actually really been wanting to try out and I really, really, really wanted. So let's get right into it. So some of the things that I really wanted the most when I went were the LA Splash lip stains. I heard a lot about these. I got a couple of... Or not. <laughs> I got a couple of different colors and I'm really, really excited because these are actually some colors that I don't have um, in my collection. I, I guess these two I do have, but eh, what else? I got them anyways just to have them again. <laughs> I actually wore this formula today and I'm not going to lie. I'm going to do a review on these. They get real, they feel real weird when you pile it up. So if I feel like if you have to, if you want to reapply, you got to take it off and then apply it again. Other than that, it feels real weird on. Now I'm kind of like, I don't know um, if getting all of these was such a good idea. But we will see. I only wore it today for the first time. And I wore like um, this color, which is kind of like a nudish color. Maybe the darker colors will be better because that's usually how it goes. The darker colors are usually a better formula. It does come with this replenishing elixir. A waterproof liquid lipstick remover with shea butter and moisturizer. Vitamin C, E, and aloe vera. So this I guess you put on after your lips um, just to kind of hydrate it a little bit. Um, I'm actually wearing ColourPop right now so I'm not wearing one of these. I probably should wear one of these. That would be smart. Should I put, should I put one on? I didn't get lashes this year because I really don't care for their lashes. I have both of them that I have from last year, so I'm not really into the lashes that they have. Just because the band is real thick, and I'm not a thick band kind of girl. I don't like it. I feel like it's real difficult to work with. So the second thing that I did get was from Lime Crime. So this is actually not the second thing in general that I got, but this is actually the last thing I got. But there was no line, so I was happy. Um, and I got I got the two new colors that came out. Um, I got Rave and Riot. I don't. The only ones that I don't have are Pansy, Black Velvet, and then Red Velvet. I lost it. I don't know where it went. But I I don't know. I wanted to get another one, but I didn't at the same time. So instead, I just got these two. Um, and this is what they look like. I will do quick swatches of these for you guys. So this one is Riot. I have not tried it on yet. I'm so excited to try it on. It's so strange. It's so liquidy. That's really weird. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear this with though. But I love the Lime Crime lip stains because they are just so freaking like lightweight and they don't feel heavy at all. And they just they're just gorgeous colors so I'm really happy and the entire scandal with her it was just a hot mess but what else I love the product so I'm 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 whatever about it I'm indifferent and this is the other one this one's called rave actually I really want to wear rave right now so that's what those two look like I will also have close-up swatches, no worries. I did get this one, and this is actually a gloss. I don't know, I've actually been really liking glosses recently. Before, I never used to like them, but I feel like now I'm really getting into them. So this one that I got is called Pre Present or Present? Present, I guess. And it looks like so. I'm okay with that. The applicator is like hella tiny, so I'm kind of like intrigued by that but other than that it's kind of like a like a fuchsia ish type color almost with glitter inside and I don't know I've been on this like glitter kick recently I've been really really liking putting glitter on my lip on top of a lipstick I don't know I think that looks cute so I've been doing that but this one is really cute because it has like the little glitters inside already so that's awesome so these lip stains are dry and they are so freaking pigmented, bro. Like this shit is not going to come off. So I'm hyped. I did go to OCC and I only got one thing. I absolutely love the OCC cosmetic color pencils. You can get this at Sephora separately as well. But I feel like they stay on so long and they're just so gorgeous. Um, and then I got the black one just for like underneath my eyes. And they literally stay on forever. So I'm so happy. 
that I picked this one up. Um, I was going to pick up the nail polishes, but I started doing gel, well, the, not the gel, but the dip powder on my nails, which lasts for like a good two or three weeks, um, but it's only one color though, that's the only downside about it. I don't need nail polish, so my entire giant room of nail polish is going to, it's not going to go to waste, but... Like, I don't really use it because I get jelly, right? So when I get when I finish this, I'll start by buying um, nail polish. But for right now, I'm, I'm off nail polish. <laughs> okay, so then I went to Nigel's Beauty Emporium. And uh, from there, I got the mini pointed Q-tips that were a dollar. And the mini rounded Q-tips that were a dollar. I got these from my kit just for like small little touch-ups and stuff like that on my clients. So I have to put that in my kit. I did get some lashes. Now these lashes were just like, they came literally just like this. They're made in Indonesia. This is all they say on the back of it. But they're super, super light. They look super duper natural. They're really, really nice and wispy and they don't have a thick band, which like I told you guys, I absolutely love because then I don't have to worry about it falling off or peeking out or showing through. So I did get these. So I did go to another booth that my friend was actually working at, um, Aaron. This booth called Yazzy Cosmetics. And I got this blue one just because I've been actually really wanting a blue lip gloss. So these are actually lip glosses. I thought that they were like long wear, but they're actually not. Sadly, sadly disappointed. But other than that, I actually really like it though because it's actually something I've been wanting to get like a blue gloss like this or a blue lip stain like this. This will do though. It's like super duper blue and it smells really, really minty. And with those glosses, I actually really like adding on the um, glitter on top of it because they are sticky and the glitter on top of it will actually make it look really, really pretty. So I'm gonna do that and I will show you guys how I do that. So the next place that I went to was Beautylish and they actually had like a, like a Bioderma Stand. I actually finally got this because I've been hearing about it a lot on YouTube and just a lot in general um, And I'm really 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 excited about it. It's a makeup removing Misal I don't know how to say it. Misal Because I know how to, I, I could say micellar water But Misal solution I guess it's called. This one's for sensitive skin. It's a non-rinse, paraben-free, hypoallergenic um, Dissolves makeup. It's a sens Sensibio your face and eyes. Now I did get this for $19.95, which was awesome. And it came with a little travel size version of it. I went to the other stand and it was called Gleam Cosmetics. And it's actually made by Melanie Mills, who is a makeup artist for Dancing with the Stars. And she, this is the Body Radiance. This one is in rose gold. It's a moisturizer and you massage it to your skin, it gives you a really, really pretty glow. I'm going to do it on this arm so you can see it. I'm just going to do a little bit. So basically, she is the one that makes all the Dancing with the Stars people glow. And I thought that was really, really cool. Am I glowing? Can you see it? You can definitely see it in my hand. It definitely, definitely looks like it's glowing in my hand. I actually mix this in with my foundation. And I don't mind it. I feel like I do have like a little bit more of a radiant appearance underneath. Um, I feel like I would apply this to my face first and then my foundation on top to get a more better um, thing. But I did mix it up together in one. So that's the only thing. But yeah, this one is Gleam. And I thought that was cool. It's something new to try out. Um, something that I'm not familiar with. So I was happy to try it out. And I love Jordan Liberty's lashes in rated R. They are awesome, so I'm super duper 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 excited about these. Um, these are like my favorite lashes by far. I have not found another like a dupe for this or something um, different. Um, but these ones are just amazing, so I love it. So I got four of them, and these were four dollars each, so it was like sixteen dollars for four pairs, which is actually really really not that bad. So I'm excited. And so then, last but not least, the last thing that I did get from IMAX is the makeup eraser i was dying for these i saw it on instagram and i kept seeing a lot of different things about it on instagram so i contacted the owner or whatever whoever runs the page and i was just like are you guys going to be at imat and she said no so i got really sad because i honestly i use so much makeup and i have so many wipes and they're all keep running out and i normally get the costco wipes and 
I really like those, but um, it's just, it's annoying. I went and I went to Ricky's and I freaking saw it. And I was just like, holy shit, yes, I need this, I need this. So I ran over and I picked it up. I was so excited, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, it looks like a giant eraser, which I absolutely adored. And what it is, it's like a little cloth and you have to wash it first. Um, and then you can use it. You wet it completely on one side and you just kind of wipe off everything. You can kind of clean it out through your, underneath your water. Kind of when it builds up a bit, you can just throw it in the wash again and it washes completely machine washable. So I thought that was really awesome. It's kind of like a beauty blender of removers for your face. And that is pretty much the last thing that I got. I didn't get much, like I said. I really got only the essential things that I actually really needed. And thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you guys got anything to or you guys have any videos of your own, let me know down below and I'll definitely check out your little haul. And I'm gonna go play with all these things out and swatch them and um, take pictures of them for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.